Did you know? Many people are not aware or do not have an idea who was the man who invented the most famous toy, Mr. Potato Head. Ako walang alam, present. Mr. George Lerner, the father of Mr. Potato Head. Without him, there is no Mr. Potato Head as well. This simple, charming, and laughable toy, adapted in numerous ways to fit the changing times. However, this toy remains a recognizable character loved by kids around the world. Mr. George Lerner was born in 1922 in Brooklyn, New York. An artist, a graphic designer, and a son of a Jewish immigrant. In 1945, he came up with the idea of turning real fruits and vegetables into toys. He designed Mr. Potato Head that became as one of the most popular and widely manufactured toys of all time. He produced the first set of push pin plastic parts of the face and other accessories that to be pushed into the real fruits and vegetables and transform them into a toy. But this invention did not sit well to the American consumers because they don't like the idea of wasting good food by turning into child's toys. Since on that time, the American who had so recently lived through food rationing due to the devastating effect of World War II, Did you know? Eventually, a certain serial company agreed to buy the license to distribute his toys for the amount of $5,000 as they used the toys as their giveaway bonus placed in a serial box where children provided of small plastic parts of the face and other accessories and the parents were asked to provide a face approach or vegetables to stick them in. But George Lerner was not satisfied for the outcome of his invention as give a wish bonus only and place in a cereal box. He wanted it to be a stand-alone toy. In the year 1952, he approached another toy manufacturer in Rhode Island, the Hassenfeld brother, that later changed the company name into Hasbro Incorporated. The Hassenfeld brother got interested in Lerner toy that they buy back the license from the cereal company for the amount of $7,000. Did you know that the original name of Mr. Potato Head was Make a Face? After buying the rights, the toy went into production and was manufactured to have a styrofoam head where the plastic eyes, nose, ears, etc. to be plugged on in. However, the company still encouraged the use of real potato and lay of the styrofoam as seen in its instructional manual. And they named their new acquired toy as Mr. Potato Head. Did you know? And on April 1952, Hasbro Incorporated launched the first advertising campaign for Mr. Potato Head and it was the first toy that was advertised on TV. During its first year on the market, the toy earned the company more than $4 million and in following year, the company produced other variants such as Mrs. Potato Head and others. And on the time, it cost only of 98 cents in 30 various body parts and accessories. And in spite of its success, many parents were complaining about finding rotten food under beds and sofa cushion. 
So in 1960s and 1970s, new government regulations prohibiting sharp toys, restricted cells and the pointed plastic facial parts that Mr. Potato Head used to puncture raw potato. In response, the Hasbro Incorporated designed a plastic body complete with pre-made hull. Under this new innovation, the parents were happy about the addition of the plastic body head as they no longer had to worry about moldy and rotten potatoes forgotten under their children's bed. Over the course of many years, Mr. Potato Head has evolved into a beloved children's toy made out of plastic and sold with individual body parts for children to invent with and enjoy. The toy can always be altered to the child's preference and will continue to be adorned by many generations. Though Mr. George Lerner was no longer part for the production of his own invention, but he was still remembered as the father of Mr. Potato Head. He died in 1995 at the age of 73 years old. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ako walang alam. Episode 3, Series March 2021.